thought I'd do a sort of quick clip to show you what's actually being done to the car. So, um, yes, I've, we've done the hole and track already. Uh, the car actually performed awesome, had no issues whatsoever. I'm really happy with it. Um, so basically, what I have, what I what I realised though was, uh, I didn't get a chance to actually record what was done to get this thing over the pits and what we've actually done to it after going to the pits. Obviously, you would have seen in my last video we we did the clutch and I did the roof racks. Yeah, never actually showed you like the lift or anything like that or the bull bar. So let's maybe go through that. It's now got a two inch body lift. Basically new front suspension and you should, let me see if I can try to find a body blocks somewhere. Um, there you go, see there's, that's the part of the body lift there. It's got a new exhaust, which you would have also known about, but these are the tires I'm running. They are Maxi 753195 R14. So they're quite a bit chunkier. They're not crazy big, but they're a lot chunkier than the other tires I had, and they look really bloody good. And I've obviously put these original hubcaps on as well in the middle, and just complements the whole setup really nicely. You know, it's it still it still shows it is like an original Subaru. It's got the roof rack on it now, so this is it here. Just got like a tradey one for now, so you can see yeah, it looks a lot better there. Ah yes, the bull bar. So here's the bull bar. You can kind of see when I sprayed it, you know, like it is. Obviously you can tell I've used cheap paint, it's already kind of doing that. It's fading a fair bit, you know, scratches quite easily, but you know, structurally the bull bar is still pretty sound. So I think I will just probably commit to raptoring it. Let's have a look under the bonnet. You can see what we've done here is it's got new CVs both sides. The radiator, it's got an upgraded radiator, um, it's got new radiator hoses, new battery, uh, all new belts basically. Oh the rear brakes had to get done because they were leaking pretty bad. Just put, uh, I've been using this quad lock uh, phone mount in the windscreen and honestly the thing's awesome. Yeah seriously quad lock makes some good shit. No, I'm not sponsored by them. I just really like their products, so I've committed to it. You know, I've got the, the case and everything like that as well. Got the, oh, got the boot here. So yeah, nothing going, nothing going on back here. I've just got the spare back here for now. Seats are still ripped. I might get that sorted in one day. Plan is, future setup wise, I'm gonna get a 20 or 30 liter fridge. Put it this side maybe i'll make a false floor so i can bolt everything to it and then keep probably put the spare on the roof for longer trips but on the short trips or like just around daily i'll just keep the wheel back here i had to replace that because the old one was was actually missing so we needed that for the pits just got my jumper leads back here and i've got my power steering fluid because it still does decide it wants to leak power steering fluid power steering has not failed yet or started making any weird noises so just, just gonna wing it for now and I'll, I'll worry about it later when it actually becomes a problem this like handbrake cover was a bit torn so that had to get fixed uh, this button was also pretty average so I had to replace that this is actually and obviously the dash had quite a few problems you know there's a lot of things that we did to this that to get it fixed uh, for the pits but you probably Maybe visually you won't really see much, but I can tell you for sh I can tell you for a fact that uh, the car drives amazing. I 100% notice everything that's been done to it. Start it up for you so you can hear it running. Okay. So you've obviously heard it running before, but yeah, this is pretty much it's still running. This all sounds pretty good, but yeah, I'm gonna probably put a new muffler in that soon. Other than that, yeah, it's running absolutely brilliant. So yeah, overall, the car has been running awesome. Superino's done an amazing job as always. Being able to drive this car every day is so good. It's unique, you know, turns a lot of heads. Um, I've had actually quite a few people come up to me and go, Dude, what is that? That's sick! I'm 
like, oh man, it's a Subaru MY wagon. They're like, oh, is that like a Brumby? My future plans, they haven't really changed. Mm. I'm definitely gonna go EJ though, because uh, on the way back from the Holland track, uh, the poor little EA was uh, not, was uh, kind of struggling to stay at 110. And, um, you know, especially when you're trying to overtake road trains and stuff like that, it's, you know, it does actually feel a bit, honestly, quite dangerous in such an underpowered engine. The EJ is not only going to be beneficial from a, a fuel consumption and a power perspective, but I will just, in general, I will feel a lot safer just knowing I've got at least some power on tap to get me out of trouble. Because, um, yeah, at the moment, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a snail, not going to lie, um, and not like a spoolie boy. Um, yeah, it's just... Um, and, and you know, it's doing well considering, like, I mean, I've, I've put bigger tyres and lift and pull bar on it, so it's not really the engine's fault that I want to modify the car. You know. um, it's my fault, because I um, have this weird, like most car people, I just can't keep my stuff. I just want to always modify it, and not, not just, yeah, I like modifying cars, and I think that's just something that's never going to change. So, Alright, I'm just going to grab a couple of beers because it's a nice and beautiful Saturday. 